Hey you guys, this is the Kaizen Man welcoming you to the Kaizen Project. It's been a little bit of time since I've seen you, so thank you for being here and welcome. Today's video is going to be about chai. Yes, chai. Delicious, hot, flavorful masala chai. Now, I'm Indian and I kind of grew up drinking tea at home, but it wasn't until I moved to Bombay and I lived there for a couple of years and was super broke and all I could afford in the evenings was a cup of chai and a packet of parleji biscuits. If you're from India, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this meal, if you want to call it that, would cost us about 10 rupees, which if I convert that to Canadian dollars, it comes to a whopping 20 cents. Making chai, as you're going to see in the video today, it's a little bit of a labor intensive process. You really need to be paying attention the entire time because the milk does boil over. So try not to uh, look away or do other things. When you're making chai, you're making chai, which kind of makes it a little bit of a meditative process as well. What you're going to need to make chai, number one, black tea, whether in tea bags or loose leaf, milk, water, sugar, black pepper, if you like it, cardamom, and chai masala. So one and a half cups of milk and I match the milk to the water. So equal parts milk and equal parts water. Some ginger. You can use fresh ginger or you can keep some frozen ginger. It's up to you. Chai masala. A little bit of black pepper. This is optional. Sugar to taste. I usually like to get at least one spoon per cup. And I want these ingredients to be able to just kind of mix together for a little while before we add the tea leaves in. And there you start to see that nice color coming through. That's the cardamom. And I like to grind it up a little bit just because the um, when you grind the pods, that's where the real flavor comes in. And the cardamom is nice because when you cook milk, it tends to have a kind of a scent to it that not everybody likes. So if you add the cardamom towards the end, then it just freshens up the entire flavor and really adds a nice aroma to the tea. So you can see here, a nice color coming through here. It is boiling, so you, you have to keep stirring. And we're almost, almost done here. So I'll just look at the back of the spoon and how it slides off. If it slides off like water, means it needs a little bit more cook time. I like to have the viscosity to be a little bit more creamy, so you can start to see here now it's slowing down and how it slides off. So this is pretty much where I like to have the tea. And there you have it. Delicious, hot masala chai, or cutting as they call it in Bombay. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed that video, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe buttons, all of that stuff. Leave a comment as well. And if you try the chai, you make it at home, I wanna know how you find the taste of it because sometimes people drink it like, wow, this is really strong, it's really powerful. And the beautiful thing about it too is it really wakes you up. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this chai now, enjoy it, and I hope that you do the same. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, it's the Kaizen Man, signing out.